Where were you when you found out that Al Davis had passed away? How are you taking it as well as the team right now? Uh, I found out very early this morning, Henry, when uh, John Herrera, the Raiders, uh, called me. Uh, I don't even know what time it was. I think it was before clock in Houston. And he said, uh, I need to come up to your room and speak to you. And I, 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 I knew right away what it was. Uh, and I've been carrying this with Ray for the last several months. Uh, Al's not been in good health for, for a long time, but the last... The last few months have been really difficult, and uh, it's hard to to uh, come to grips with it. You know, when you you know something's coming, but then when it actually arrives, uh, the emotion is overwhelming. We've all experienced it. But uh, I'm I'm doing this with you now because I think. Uh, it, I spoke a lot about death with Hal Davis. He, uh, whenever anybody died, we'd talk. He'd call me, you know, somebody close to me, people with the Raiders, and he was always so strong. Uh, uh, he was very prideful of all the uh, eulogies that people asked him to give. Even uh, Sugar Ray Leonard, the great boxer in his office, he has a picture of that. So he was always at his strongest in, in moments like this. So I'm trying to be Al Davis strong today, but it's tough because I'm recalling the one that really got to him was the passing of Gene Upshaw. And he, uh, he had a hard time with that one. Uh, in fact, he said to me, uh, I can't stop crying. And it was a, a while after Gene's passing. So uh, some of these really hit home uh, later in his life. Uh, he became more reflective on his own life. And uh, and as I'm talking to you guys today, I just got off the phone with Tom Flores. It took me hours to even reach out to him because I know uh, he's just torn up by the news. And all he could say was 48 years, 48 years. You know, Tom was his first quarterback when Al came in 63. So uh, it's very hard, very, very hard. I, I, uh, I'll blend this out to Ray because... I'm trying to think of any one individual who really you could say Al Davis is the Raiders, and it's not a stretch. Like, you can't say that about any other individual, I think, aligned with any one franchise. I mean, the Yankees did a lot of winning before George Steinbrenner came along. The Bears have done a lot of winning since George Hallis passed. Uh, you know, the Browns with... Paul Brown, the Bengals. Uh, I thought maybe Red Auerbach would be a, a kid. I'm trying to give a perspective to people to understand what this man meant. Yes, there was a Raider franchise before Al, but it was brief, and it was not memorable. And the Raiders took flight the day he arrived, and uh, not just what he accomplished, obviously, with the organization, what he, uh, what he accomplished in professional football was what he was most proud of. Uh, we, he, we had long talks about the 68 original competition committee, how proud he was to serve on that. And just his, his impact on, on pro football. And uh, the, the one thing I want the younger people to understand, Henry, because Al's been beaten up, obviously, the last eight years. The team has not done well. And uh, I personally think that losing that Super Bowl in 2002 uh, led to a sharp decline in his health. Mm. He's a special man. There's many sides to him. Very complicated. Uh, he's different in public than he was in private. Uh, but as special a person as I've ever been around is interesting and uh, complicated, but uh, driven, I think, is the one word I would use. Uh, he had a lot, of, a lot of the qualities my father has, and uh, I think that's why we were. I was drawn to him. Uh, as a as kind of a mentor in a lot of respect, he taught me a lot about football and just a lot about people. But anyway, he uh, he uh, he went he went right to the end, worried about his football team. So uh, let's hope they they play well tomorrow for him. Here we go to win the game or lose the game. It's all right here. Matt Schaub out of the gun. First and goal. Back. Final play. Time. He can run for it. He pops now. He throws. It's intercepted by Michael Hop. The Oakland Raiders have won the game. Twenty-five twenty. The Raiders win today in Houston, and they do it for Al Davis. Watkins out right, singled up with Burnett. 
Gronkowski, they blitz Burnett. Here's Gronkowski now going to throw for the end zone. And it's time! Touchdown! Raiders! Lewis Murphy in the back corner of the end zone with nine seconds to go. The Raiders have beaten the Pittsburgh Steelers here at Heinz Field. 27 to 24 is the final score. 17 7. McFadden gets McFadden. the edge 30, 35, 40. Midfield, McFadden breaks a tackle. He's gone! 10, 5, touchdown! Raiders! Firing the gun. Two receivers right. Cooper left. Now they empty the backfield. Murray goes out right. Watched by the middle backer, Laurinaitis. They rush four. They twist. Quick throw out. Left. Incomplete. Off the hand. Fly came in late. Fly came in late on New Orleans. Going to be a hold on the Saints here. First down, Raiders. Murray the lone back. Loose bunch formation right. Cooper left. Derek straight drop. They blitz. He's under siege. Throws the ball up, and it is caught by Crabtree. Breaks a tackle. Tries to power through Jairus Bird for a first down. He got it. He's got the Raider first down on the New Orleans 23-yard line. Raiders tra- third down and 10. You're in four-down territory. Car in the gun. Murray to his right. Crabtree out wide right. Cooper out wide left. Derek takes it. Murray releases out. Carr under siege, runs away from Kruger, running to his right. He's going to run it and get out of bounds. He got hit on the right. Any flag come in there? No flag. They hit the quarterback link on the apron. No flag. Fourth down for the Raiders. Fourth down. They have to get to the New Orleans 13. They're on the same 18. Carr, shotgun. Pass time, steps up, throws, and it's broken up, out of bounds, and complete fly came in! They're going to get a P.I., I think a face guard there on Craig Robertson, the linebacker. He never turned around to play the ball, and he was bumping Jalen Richard. The Raiders get a call from the governor. That should be a first down, Raiders. defense number 52. Whoa! Richard in the gun, to the right of car in the shotgun. To her left, Cooper right. Richard circles out. They're going for Richard over the middle. Makes the catch, but he got buried immediately by Craig Robertson. At least Smith inside. Crabtree in the middle. Seth Roberts outside. Amari Cooper one on a moment. P.J. Williams. Car in the gun. Car looks left. Throws. Caught. Seth Roberts diving for the end zone. Touchdown! Raiders! They're going for two, guys. They are going for two in the win. Wow! Wow. 34-33. Is Jack Del Rio going to go for two here, He's Link? going for two. Wow. It's already been signaled in. He's going for two, like you Whoa. guys said. Win it or lose it right here. Don't want to give Drew Brees the ball back. Don't want to give him a chance to make a difference. They're going for two right oh, now. Tom. Wow. We saw John Gruden do this. Dick Vermeil do this. Has a Raider coach ever done this? You don't, if you don't make this, you lose. Yeah. Very simply. If you, 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 you. And if you win it, if you make it, you're in a position to win. Car in the gun. Roberts inside of uh, uh, Amari Cooper right. They're going to the same formation. They're going to motion Alawale to the left of Carr in the gun. A two-pointer to go up by a point. Carr out of the shotgun. Looks left. Throws a lob for Michael Crabtree. He caught it! He caught it! He caught it! The Raiders have the lead! <laughs> 35-34! Sweet revenge for Michael Crabtree! Inside the Superdome in New Orleans where they gave him three shots to win the Super Bowl for the 49ers and he couldn't do it. A flag is down. We got a flag down. Flag. 21. Here's Brian Anger with the punt, a high twirler. Rashard going to come up. He did not fair catch the ball and he got popped by the gunner. <laughs> so here we go. 321 to play. The Raiders have two timeouts remaining. Janikowski has missed twice. End of regulation and overtime. Here's Carr. After a play action, going to roll the pocket right. Throws down the right sideline to Murray. Nice catch. Could have stepped out of bounds there to keep the clock stopped, but he turned it back in the field to play to pick up the extra yardage for the first down. Carr takes the snap, looks left, throws. He overthrew Cooper. Second and 10 Raiders on the Tampa 48-yard line. Carr back, throws middle. Catch made there by Crabtree. Tackled by the inside linebacker, the middle backer, Quan Alexander. Carr in the gun. Washington to the right. Three receivers left. And uh, Amari is right. They're going to Amari on the out cut, and he threw it wide again. Washington out wide right, and three go left. Amari Cooper is being covered up. Now they're showing blitz. They're going to bring to Levante David. Carr throws. Catch Seth Roberts. Bricks and tackle. He's Ten. Five. Touchdown. Raiders. A walk. 
walk-off from Seth Roberts to win the game. Here you go. Fourth down. Raiders make a play here. They're nine and two. Cam Newton in the shotgun. Olsen is tight right. Three receivers go left. Newton is back on fourth down. Time. Ball got oh. The ball is free. The Raiders will take over on downs. The Raiders are nine and two. How did they win this one? What a game. Cam Newton goes down. Well, just like we predicted, guys, you had to have a big play. And who better than Khalil Mack? Khalil Mack. To take over and knock that ball out. Strip sack. Strip sack. To sort and secure the game. Link. You want to win NFL Defensive Player of the Year? Do what Khalil has done today to Cam Newton. Rivers in the gun. They go two by two. Antonio Gates in the right slot. Over him is Malcolm Smith. Here's Rivers back on second down. Flushed out. Chase from behind. He got sacked. Back inside the 8-yard to 10-yard line by Bruce Irvin. His second sack of the game. A 5-yard loss. And that'll take us to the 2-minute warning now. Rivers with fair to his right as three receivers left. Antonio Gates singled up right against Malcolm Smith. Rivers back. Rivers ball got hit. Ball is incomplete. He got hit from behind. It'll be fourth down now to Khalil Mack. Get that one again. He was there. Came around the backside against King Dunlap, Link. As Philip Rivers pulled back to throw the ball, he got hit. It was Mack that got him from the front side, actually over Joe Barksdale's side. The play stopped. In less than 15 yards, they will take over. San Diego will have one timeout remaining. Rivers back in his end zone. Gets hit by Irvin from behind. Throws. Intercepted by Reggie Nelson. Go down, Reggie. He wants to run it back. 20. 15, he dives down now and he goes down. The Raiders have got the game. Bruce Irvin supplied the pressure from behind. And Reggie Nelson comes up with his fourth interception as a Raider. And this one to secure a playoff spot for the Silver and Black. The long drought is over. Derek will take one more shotgun snap from Rodney Hudson. One more kneel and the Raiders will count it down. It's like New Year's Eve, and Dick Clark is here, coach. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The Raiders are in the playoffs. The drought is over, Link. Yes, it is, and how sweet it is for this young team. What a tremendous year. Long time since yeah, the 2002 been. team and your team going to the Super Bowl. The second longest playoff drought in the league behind only Buffalo's 16-year drought. And that will extend to 17 years this year, Tom. A long, long wait. But the Silver and Black are back in the tournament. And now they may do it as a AFC West champion and maybe as a... Now Peters is playing way off of Amari Cooper on third down and 10 off right. Derek looks left. Derek going to throw for the end zone. Caught! It is caught! Touchdown! <laughs> Raiders! Jaron Cook with a touchdown to tie the game at 30 with 16 seconds to go! What an amazing play. The receivers all over the same spot. Yeah. There were three Chiefs there, and Jared Cook went up and took the ball. They're going to have to review it. they got to review it to make sure he it. caught the ball all the right. way to the ground. It was Murray's foot, hits the After foot. Of foot. Here we go. The ruling on the field has changed. The run was down by contact at the one-half yard line. He was down with 18 seconds left by rule. When we go from a stop clock to a running clock, run. there's a 10-second runoff. 10-second runoff? Please put eight and seconds on, on the game clock. Uh, Timer, start the clock on my signal. And it, what, you spike it or run? will snap. There you go. They're going to run a play. They've run a fade route. Come Michael Crabtree! Oh, they're going to pull That'll be flag. Oh, oh, that's a pass interference. The they're going to wave it off. He and that's off. a 10-second. No, no. Didn't look like much. Here's Rolstad with the whole game. That's interference. Offense. Number 15. The 10-yard penalty replay. He's got for the end zone. Derek back. Looks right. Steps up. Throws middle. It's oh, incomplete. A fly is down. This will be holding. holding. I can't take any more of this. We need a verdict one way or the other. We're going to put this the five and a half yard line. Beating bounds. On the field is an incomplete pass. However, 
is holding. Defense, number 21. Murray again. So there's half the distance to the goal. You get another run time down. You're getting close enough here, Tom. Is there any kind of mo- uh, moment where Derek could hit his back foot and try to run for it? You're going well, empty here. Yeah, you could. Raiders, and I think this time it counts. There are no flags. Knees and down, in play, in the end zone. Give it to me loud now. Touchdown, Raiders. 31 to 30. One of the greatest wins we have seen from this team in years. A game they absolutely had to have. That was one heck of a foot. They're going to run it to Alawale coming left. They're going to power in. He should be in. Touchdown, Raiders! Ingram runs a route. Smith got sacked from behind. Sack fumble. Khalil fumble. took the ball away. Khalil ripped it right out of his arms. What a play by Khalil Mack to save points. He not only sacked him, Tom, he ripped the ball right out of Geno Smith's arms. Well, that's the play of the game so far. How good can you Slot right. Ingram runs a route. Smith got sacked from behind. Sack fumble. Khalil fumble. took the ball away. Khalil ripped it right out of his arms. What a play by Khalil Mack to save points. He not only sacked him, Tom, he ripped the ball right out of Geno Smith's arms. Well, that's the play of the game so far. How good can you be? Prescott in an empty set, two receivers right, three left from the Raider 35. Throws high, intercepted by Sean Smith. And Smith is dropped by Des Bryant on the Raider 30-yard line. The Raiders had Navarro Bowman link buzz out, but Sean Smith was behind Des Bryant and Dak Prescott, who normally is very accurate, threw that ball way up. We knew this day was coming. Uh, We've known it for a long time. But uh, when the inevitable news comes down that they are going to be the Las Vegas Raiders and uh, probably uh, the very latest would be 2020, which would be the 60th anniversary of the AFL and the 100th anniversary of the NFL. It is just difficult. It is a difficult day for the East Bay. Our, Our hearts are broken for this community. Uh, when the Raiders moved back here in 1995, it changed my life. Yeah. Uh, I was supposed to go to work for them right away. That first year, we couldn't work out the contract deal, and Joe Myers did them for a couple of years, and I did come back and there come to the Raiders and Al in 1997. And uh, so it's just changed everything, obviously, with them coming back. But there was never a sense that they were here for the long haul. And, and honestly, we will get into all the ramifications of this What do they do in 2018? What do they do in 2019? Uh, I do honestly believe that this is a move that Al Davis would have done. Uh, I've been critical of Mark in a couple of instances, reaching out to Mike Shanahan to be the coach of the Raiders, bringing uh, Marcus Allen in to light Al Davis's torch. was difficult, but I I do believe that Al Davis would have made this move today. Uh, he loved Las Vegas. He went to Vegas a lot of summer times, off seasons. I have a, a statue on my desk from July the 4th of 2004. Loyalty, passion, friends. Al and Carol Davis, it was July the 4th of 2004, Al's 75th birthday party. He was in Vegas. He loved Vegas. I remember going down to Las Vegas during one baseball all-star break with my family and actually thought is there a way they could move somewhere equidistant between Oakland Vegas and LA and put it right in the middle of the triangle never thinking that the NFL would allow a team to move to Las Vegas they never even allowed their game officials to step foot in Vegas without uh, written permission of an emergency of some kind and now you're gonna play actual football games there and I think there's gonna be a great momentum to put a Super Bowl there, whatever uh, number we get to, but uh, the Vegas angle just kind of came out of nowhere, and we didn't think it would really happen so quickly, especially in the NFL and the NHL, the two commissioners that have been most opposed to this. But uh, today is about, and we'll get into the Vegas angle in the coming days, but today is about Oakland, yeah. and it's about uh, this football team being ripped away again. Every 22 years it happens, seemingly. And uh, just walking through that tunnel, I know the Oakland Coliseum, the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum, as uh, Howard would say, and the great Kurt Gowdy is an old dump, but it's been the Raiders' dump 
and the Oakland A's jump. And I do think the A's being there, and uh, you know, I, I really blame this in large part on three people: Gene Kwan, a former mayor of Oakland, Lou Wolf, uh, who was just not agreeable. He would uh, the Raiders communicated with him for a long time about what to do here and. Uh, I'm going to be kind and say he would constantly send them nonsensical emails that they didn't know how to work it out. It was kind of a squatting thing. And now, curiously, they're just, you know, they're into staying in Oakland and being here for the long haul after they were going to San Jose for a long, long time. And uh, Floyd Gephardt and his uh, travesty of wasting a couple of the crappy walkway from the Raider locker room down that terrible walkway down. You have to go through the A's clubhouse to get onto the playing field. It's terrible. The players have to walk about a a hundred yards is not as bad as the uh, temporary deal they built in Mexico City. That was actually better. Uh, but once you come through that tunnel, and it's interesting because the opponents come from the other side and the visiting clubhouse of the Oakland A's, and the Raiders come through their, their, their tunnel. Once you come through that tunnel and you walk onto that playing field, there is no venue like it in currently in American sports. The Yankee Stadium was like that. Fenway Park is like that, but Fenway, it's baseball, it's kind of nice, and right. we're going to play a friendly game of baseball, yeah, when, you walk like through, when you walk through that tunnel, and uh, Yankee Stadium had the same feel, uh, Boston Garden had the same feel, it was just, you're walking into three hours of hell, <laughs> this is not going to be easy, and the Raiders coming back in Oakland in 95, they've only had four better than 500 seasons since they've been back, in 22 damn years, four! The three in the early 2000s when they won the AFC West, 2000, 2001, 2002, and this past year. So it hasn't been the daunting home field advantage it should be, but it, it still can be. And uh, I, I think this, this, the way this is going to play out, and I know it's hard, they are leaving. We know that. In 2020, they're going to be the Las Vegas Raiders, and that's going to be really difficult for those of us that have built had our built our lives and lived our lives here in the East Bay, I've been here for more than 30 years, so I know your pain. If there's anything we've ever done that I'm particularly proud of, I, w I would have to say that the uh, perpetuation of the greatness of the Raiders to take a professional football team and give it a distinct characteristic that's different from all others. I'm going to tell you something, man. If you guys don't know how big a win that was, you'll know tomorrow. It's a hell of a win. It's a team effort. Offense, defense, special teams. Now, the effort was outstanding. Yeah. 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 Yeah.